here we are with more of our BFL season preview videos. This time, we're out at Wendery Reserve chatting with Lake Wendery coach Gavin Webb. Webby, thanks for joining us, mate. No worries, Sean. Talk to us a little bit of how pre-season's gone. Different pre-season this year. Obviously, you've been able to get on here all the way along, whereas it was a yep. bit stilted last year. So has that made a bit of a difference? Uh, yeah, it has. And obviously, the surface is in top condition. So we've been able to do the majority of our training here. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's heavily used at the moment with lots of cricket junior footy and girls footy so all working together but um the boys enjoy training here even on the wet nights it's it's still um great conditions so yeah it's made a bit of a difference there. you took a step last year you went from making the finals in 2014 to winning a final in yep. 2015 even though it was a one pointer but mm. still got into that second week so good progress there is the aim now there's a lot of talk going around about obviously we'll talk about your recruits shortly but mm. who you've recruited and the fact that lakers are going to be top two and that kind of thing is your goal to get past that second week of the finals or yeah oh look every team comes into the season very optimistic we have to improve if we don't we won't finish fourth or fifth we'll mm. go down the ladder so we're aiming to finish top three um but as are most of the other you know top six eight sides so we realize the comps very even yep um, early wins are going to be crucial to, to help us try and get into that top three. Last year, you know, the top four, top six sides were very tight, so it'll be no different. So, yeah, that's our goal at this stage, and, and we'll assess it as we go. Tell us a bit about blokes coming into the club this year, a couple of new ones and a couple of returning players as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, the off season's been good. Um, Nick Peters is obviously going to have a bit of an impact on the competition. Um, played a lot of VFL footy, uh, strong body experience. Good leader, so he's fitted in really well and really yep. enjoying it. Bit of a step back from VFL commitments, but he, he is enjoying the um, uh, the group and, and having a bit to say at training and starting to get involved. So he'll be great for us. Yep. Uh, ben Taylor back to the club, who most VFL people would know. Ben, um, four-time BNF winner, very fit and, and keen to get back to his home club. Mm -hmm. So he'll be a um, very handy addition. Tom Latore is another one, defender from down Geelong, played in a flag with St Joey's last year. So yep. again, that age group and experience that we targeted over the off season, I think those three can fill some holes there and, and help bring along these younger guys. Um, another young guy, Bailey Edwards, who's on the Roosters list. He's from Maribara, so he's uh, joined the club where his home club. So. Yep. We'll support him with his um, commitments and endeavours to try and play senior VFL footy, which from all reports, he hopefully will get some senior footy up there, so yep. um, he'll be a very handy addition as well. Um, so they're probably the main recruits. Ben Hayes has had a full pre-season, he only played three games he's last basically year. Basically a recruit for you. Basically a recruit, he, yeah, so his, his hamstrings are good and his, his fitness is back, so he's um, champing at the bit. Uh, another younger player, Amy McCuskey, is coming off a knee reco. He didn't play football last yep. year. So he, he's played a bit of senior footy. Um, he's obviously got a bit to go, having a year off, but just a bit more depth. So uh, and then some younger players coming up through the under-18s and like most clubs, just our guys who are sort of 19 to 23, that age bracket, yep. who've played, some of them have now played 20, 30 games. They just have to improve and uh, we need those guys to keep stepping up. So. What do you need to do to get you that next step? It's one thing to have recruits into the side and everything yeah. like that and good names coming yep. in, but what do you need to do to take that next step, finish top three, playing, yep. two, playing two or three Oh, finals? look, obviously we need to start the season and play some games. It's still a long way until we actually do start. So yep. um, the guys have you know, bought into the culture of the club and um, they, they do want to have an impact. They don't just want to be guys that float in and float out. They want to be here for a while and really contribute. So. I think we just need to get more consistent. I think our best football is very good, and we proved that last year, but our worst football um, brings us right back to the pack. So we need to probably close the gap between our best and worst football if we can do that. And, and that comes from playing together, um, giving guys some more exposure, you know, giving others opportunities through the midfield, and, and probably not just relying on those three or four top players, yep. um, and just getting our so-called bottom six, if there is such a thing, um, to step up a little bit and, um, yeah, we just need to get more consistent, basically, and when those big moments come, uh, you know, tight last quarter, things like that, we just need to get a little bit better and um, keep the talk going, all those basics to make sure we finish games off. So.
a lot of excitement 12 months ago about the unveiling of the new ground, mm. and quite rightly so, because it was beautiful to play on last year. Yep. Take it a step further this year, round one against Redan. We turn the light towers on and play a game under lights here. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. Uh, hopefully we get a good crowd, and you know, Redan are a great club. Um, they've been, you know, for, well, probably over a decade, sort of top two, the one-lock mm. premiership, so... And they've, they've finished top two, you know, the last few years as well. So no better team to come up against in yeah, round one. Stick to start oh, measuring two. stick, and they're, they're going to be very good again. Uh, round one's actually a Wenderee reunion, mm. so we're actually wearing Wenderee jumpers, the red, the and, red white. and white. So a lot of old Wenderee people. Um, over the last couple of years, we've had some YCW days. Yep. And this one's going to be a bit of a tribute to Wenderee. So. Hopefully we get a lot of old Wendery faces through the gates as well and um, a bit of a different red and white jumper to um, honour the, the past, I suppose. So that adds to the night as well. Yeah. Good stuff, Webby. Thanks for joining us, mate. Great to hear that things are going well at the Lakers this yep. year. Best of luck going forward, leading into round one. No worries. Thanks, Sean. Thanks for that, Webby. Great. Gavin Webb from the Lake Wendery Footy Club in the second of our season preview videos. Thanks, mate. Thanks.